In this video, we're going to be talking about how to read your DEXA scan and how to evaluate the results from your report. So let's get into it. So in this video, we're going to be looking at an actual DEXA scan of one of our members, and I want to talk about what the numbers in a DEXA scan actually mean and how to evaluate what the difference in numbers on your DEXA scan represents. Because their numbers are very minimal, but their percentages can be massive, and you can be getting much better results than you really uh, think about. So uh, first, let's talk about what the numbers from your, your DEXA reading actually mean. So, uh, regular bone density is considered anything that's negative one or greater. So you could have a negative 0.5 on your DEXA scan, and that would still be considered regular normal bone density for an adult over the age of 30. From negative one or less to negative 2.5, that's considered osteopenia. Once you hit negative 2.5 or even or even less, that's osteoporosis. So you could have a negative 1.5 and you'd be in osteopenia. You could have a negative 2.6 and now you're in osteoporosis. So the numbers are very minimal. Uh, a small change represents a massive percent difference in where you were and where you are now. Just to give you an example, let's say you had negative 0.5 as a DEXA score, and then you went and got a scan in the following year and you had a negative one. You only changed 0.5, but that's actually 100% uh, loss of bone density in that time period. So it didn't seem like a whole lot, but percentage-wise, it's massive. Now, the thing to understand is that adults over the age of 30 lose about 3% of their bone density every year. That applies to every uh, adult over the age of 30, male or female. So let's look at an example of what a 3% loss could look like over a five-year period. So let's say you start at negative 0.5 and you lose 3%, that would put you at negative 0.515. Again, very minimal, but it's a 3% loss. Continue that same pattern over a five year period and you would end up at a negative 0.58. Doesn't seem like a big difference from that negative 0.5, but overall from going negative 0.5 to negative 0.58, that's a 15% loss in your bone density. Pretty, pretty big change. So the numbers are so small that, that small changes represent large percent uh, differences in where you were and where, and where you are now. So let's look at another example that's a little more drastic. So let's say you're at negative 2.7. So you're diagnosed with osteoporosis and you went back and you got a scan and now you're at negative 1.8. You know, it doesn't sound like a lot and it might be kind of discouraging to see that because you only went from negative 2.7 to a negative 1.8. But the change is actually pretty massive. So not only is a negative 2.7 a different diagnosis than a negative 1.8, remember negative 2.5 or less is osteoporosis, negative 1 to negative 2.5 is osteopenia. So you got a different diagnosis, you went from osteoporosis to osteopenia. But the percent change from a negative 2.7 to a negative 1.8 is actually a 33% increase. And that's just how much you increased it. Keep in mind, you're supposed to lose 3% of your bone density every year. Every adult over the age of 30 loses about 3% of their bone density. So you not only stopped the bone loss, you not only stopped it and reached a zero, but you increased it 33% from the previous bone, uh, previous DEXA scan, and that's awesome. So let's look at one of our members. I have her DEXA scan right here. Now she joined our center uh, in 2019, right around when we opened, and she got her latest DEXA scan in October of 2020. So she had been a member a little over a year, and her previous DEXA scan was in 2018. So in 2020, she had a reading of negative 1.9, her DEXA scan from 2018 shows that she had a reading of negative 2.5. So she went from negative 2.5 to negative 1.9. Again, it doesn't seem like a big change, but we're gonna do the math just to see what kind of results she got. So remember, if she had a negative 2.5 in 2018, she was diagnosed with osteoporosis. Now, when she went back in 2020, she had a reading of negative 1.9, which means her diagnosis changed to osteopenia, which is great news uh, in itself, right? So if we do the math, 
and she went from negative 2.5 to a negative 1.9, that is a 24% increase in her bone mineral density. That is amazing. It didn't seem like much when you look at the numbers, but when you do the math, what an incredible improvement that is. Not only did she go up 24%, but it completely changes the diagnosis of her health, which is awesome, and she's headed in the right direction now. So I want you to understand what the numbers are, what the numbers even mean, so that you can do the math on your own. And the next time you get your DEXA scan, you might be surprised your results are actually better than they seem sometimes, because not everybody that's looking at your report is doing the math for you. All they're looking at is the number that's on the report on that reading, right? So I want you to be well informed, have the tools you need to evaluate your results, and that way you'll be able to know if you're getting actual good improvement, better results than what you'd hoped for. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. We're going to shoot more videos like this to help you understand how to read dexo scans and understand whether your bone density is improving and what kind of results you're actually getting. So thanks.